Hello, my storytime friends. It's Miss Rachel, and today we are going to have a story time. Now, as you can see behind me, I have a great many friends with me right now. And you might notice that none of them really look like they have a theme, but they do because they are all different colors. Like this guy right here, he's wearing an orange hood. And this little guy, he's red. My friend Robert here, he's wearing blue jeans. And obviously Miss Polly is brown with some black for her little bill. I've got a very grumpy sea turtle, and he looks green. And I've got my good friend Stitch right here. He's different colors of blue. And I've got my Okapi here. And he's brown, but he's also got some white legs with stripes on them. And, of course, Spike is kind of like brown and blonde and all different colors because of his, his beautiful spikes. And I have a rainbow friend because today our story time is all about colors. And in our color story time, we are going to read a book where someone uses colors to make a very beautiful picture for him and his friend. So before we get started, and then we're going to, we're also going to do a little activity. So I've got some crayons with me and I don't know, what are we going to do with these crayons? Let's find out. But before we get started, we have to sing our hello song. So why don't you sing along with me? I'll have the words down on the, down here. So grown-ups, you can sing along. It goes like this. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Awesome job. One more verse. We wave and sing hello, we wave and sing hello, with our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. Awesome job singing, my friends. Okay. Now, for our book. This is a new one, and it's called Bob Ross and Peapod the Squirrel. And it's written by Rob Perlman, and it's illustrated by... Bob Ross, with a little bit of help from Jason Kaser. So, do you guys know Bob Ross? It's okay if you don't. Your parents might. He was a he was a painter on TV in like the 90s. That's when I was born. So, here we go. We are going to read about Bob Ross and Peapod the Squirrel. So. My little squirrel friend Peapod needs a new home. He keeps dropping pepperoni in my hair. Oh, that's not very nice. Look, he's got pepperoni. He's got a pizza in Bob's hair. That's not very nice. Or is it very clean? So we have to find Peapod a new home. Let's see what's going to happen. But we looked high and low, and we can't find the right one. Wait, I have an idea. Oh, what do you think he's gonna do? Let's look at the pictures. What is, what do you see? What's, what's this? Looks like a paintbrush to me. And it looks there's some, some tubes of paint and some more paintbrushes. I wonder what he's going to do. Let's find out, let's turn the brush. Well then, let's have some fun. Oh, little Peapod has a paint palette. Oh, look. Bob, he's, he's painting. He's got a little, little, little bit of paint right there. So what do you think he's going to do? We've got a, we got, we've got Peapod who doesn't have a home. And we've got Mr. Bob Ross here who's painting something. Hmm. <gasps> We'll use blue to paint the sky. Look at all that different blue, and look! Oh, that's a very pretty blue. I like blue, it's one of my favorite colors. 
What's your guys' favorite colors? Oh, those are nice too. I also like yellow. Yellow is absolutely one of my favorite colors. Oh, and there it is. There's the yellow. And then we'll use white to make happy little clouds that just float around and have fun all day. Oh, look at those clouds. They look very nice. And look, Peapod looks very happy so far. All right, let's find out what happens next. What do you think Bob, Mr. Bob Ross is going to do? What do you think he's going to paint next? We can use a painting knife, too, which is like a regular knife, but you use it to paint, not make sandwiches. We use the knife to spread a mix of blue and brown and crimson to make mountaintops. What do you, what color do you think crimson is? Because we've got blue here, we've got brown here. What color does this look like? That's right. It does look red. Because that's right, crimson is another word for red. You guys are so smart. So let's see, we've got some nice mountains and clouds for our little peapod squirrel. Looks pretty nice so far. Then we use a paintbrush to make the mountain bottoms. It's just that easy. <clears throat> oh, look at those mountains so far. They look very nice. Oh, Peapod looks very excited. Look at him. He is so excited. Peapod likes to ski, so let's add some snow for him. Oh no! There's nowhere for Peapod to go! Oh, Peapod is going to ski straight down the mountain and there's nowhere for him to go oh no let's see I wonder what Bob's gonna paint next let's find out and hopefully he can paint it before miss from before Peapod gets to the bottom oh, oh good let's use green and blue to paint a meadow before he gets to the bottom phew Peapod's quick stop made some of the paint go splat! Oops! Have you ever made an oops? It's okay if you have. It's an accident. And sometimes they can be happy accidents. So let's see. So there's some paint on our mountain. So I wonder what Mr. Bob Ross is going to do with the paint. Let's, let's turn the page. Let's find out. Oh, look at that. He painted trees with those with those paint splotches. That was very smart, Mr. Bob. Well, that was a happy accident. Don't worry, Peapod. We can do whatever we like in our own world. Oh, yes, you can paint whatever you want. It's beautiful. Oh, let's use even more green and blue and some brown and even some yellow to paint a whole forest of trees and bushes. Oh, look at that so far. That is a very pretty forest. I, I don't know about Peapod, but I wouldn't mind living there. That looks very nice. It looks very calming and relaxing. All right. Here's your bravery test, Peapod. Add some more blue. And now, there's a pond. Isn't that fantastic? I knew you could do it. Oh, oh look, there's a nice pond there, and Peapod did it all by himself. Oh, that's beautiful. How about a few more trees and bushes and grassy things? Let's just look at that and enjoy it. Oh, that looks like a very, very nice picture. I wish I could paint like that. It looks so very nice. I think we're finished, don't you? Now this is a home for my little squirrel friend, Peapod. Looks like a very nice home. I think Peapod will look be very happy living in that. And a not so bad place for me to happy painting. He set up a hammock. He's gonna take a nap in little Peapod and is in, is in his little nest. Oh, that's a very nice place. I want to live there. 
the end. And oh, look here. Here are some instructions if you want to paint this picture yourself. You can get an 18 by 24 canvas, a two inch background brush, a one inch landscape brush, one liner brush, one large painting knife, one fan brush, and some different paints. And he even says right here at the bottom, but don't worry if your painting looks different at the end. That's what makes it great. Oh, that was beautiful. Thank you, Mr. Bob Ross. That was a wonderful story. Did you like that story? I hope you did. Okay, now we're going to do a little rhyme. So here is where my crayons come in. So here's my crayons. I went ahead and pulled out these five colors because we are going to do a little action rhyme. And I figured, you know, having the crayons in front of us would be a little more helpful than just holding up my fingers. But you can do the same rhyme with your own fingers. Okay. So, five little crayons colored a scene. Yellow, blue, orange, red, and green. Look, said Yellow, my sun is bright. Oh, it's a nice yellow sun. Blue said, great, my river is just right. Orange said, flowers, I'll draw something new. Red said, great, I'll add some too. <sighs> Sigh, said Green. I'm tired of trees and grass and bushes and tiny leaves. I think I'll draw a big green cloud. A big green cloud should be allowed. The crayons all smiled and didn't think twice. A big green cloud sounded rather nice. Oh, that was pretty nice, right? We are going to sing a little song about our colors too. So we're going to loosen up our bodies. We're going to get ready. All right. If you're wearing red today, red today, red today. If you're wearing red today, stand up and shout hooray. If you're wearing blue today, blue today, blue today. If you're wearing blue today, stand up and shout hooray. If you're wearing yellow today, yellow today, yellow today. If you're wearing yellow today, stand up and shout hooray. If you're wearing orange today, orange today, orange today. If you're wearing orange today, stand up and shout hooray. If you're wearing pink today, pink today, pink today. If you're wearing pink today, stand up and shout hooray! If you're wearing black today, black today, black today. If you're wearing black today, stand up and shout hooray! If you're wearing green today, green today, green today. If you're wearing green today, stand up and shout hooray! Let's see, what other colors are there? Did I miss anything? Oh, white, I forgot white. If you're wearing white today, white today, white today. If you're wearing white today, stand up and shout hooray! And one more. If you're wearing colors today, colors today, colors today. If you're wearing colors today, stand up and shout hooray! Okay. That is the end of our story time today. Before we sing goodbye, I just want to say, I hope you enjoyed our story time and practice those colors because colors are so much fun. All right, let's sing our goodbye song. It goes like this. 
have this have the words down here. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. I'll see you next time, my friends.